Today is July 5th, and pastor is saying to us, Vest it with all power. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Revelation chapter 12, verses 7 to 8. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. The Bible tells us that after the rapture, there will be a war in heaven. Satan and his demons will fight to retain their place in the heavenlies, but Michael and his angels will prevail over them, and Satan will be cast out into the earth, meaning that he will have no place anymore in the heavenlies. Someone might be wondering, does that mean Satan currently has a place in the heavenlies? The Bible says he does, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2 also says, Wherein in times past you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Oftentimes, when there's chaos, anarchy, and turmoil in a society, Many don't realize that the devil is behind such things. From his place in the atmospheric realms, Satan runs families, cities, kingdoms, and nations, determining a lot of things that happen in them. He's only restrained. His efforts, operations, and maneuvers are only thwarted by the prayers of the saints of God. When we pray, God's mercy is released, and angels are dispatched upon our request and according to his will. This is why you can't afford to sit idly by or be complacent while the devil runs rampage in your family, business, city, or nation. You need to learn how to pray and pray the right way. You need to learn how to use the name of Jesus and stand against the demonic powers that lure men into destruction and foment trouble in the nations of the world and around you. We've been vested with all power and authority in heaven and in the earth to subdue dominate and decimate satanic powers their activities and take charge of our world we have the power to frustrate the devil and keep him under our feet we're not helpless at all you have the authority to determine what happens in your life in the lives of your loved ones in your nation and around the world by using the name of jesus please say this prayer with me I speak in the authority of Jesus and declare that God's will, plans and purposes for the church and the nations of the world are established. His righteousness rules in men's hearts and in the nations because all souls and every nation belong to Jesus Christ. God's kingdom is established in the earth and in the hearts of men as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 to 11, and Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 17, verses 16 to 34, and Job chapter 6 to 8. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 6, verses 39 to 49, and Deuteronomy chapter 33. Of reality.